What do selenium, black hat, owl snow, HP quick test professional, the automated testing institute, and Alex Rodriguez all have in common. They have made the cut on this edition of This Week in Automation. Hello and welcome to This Week in Automation, where we keep you on top of what's going on in the world of software test automation and keep you up to date with what's hot at ATI. We start this edition out with breaking news about baseball great Alex Rodriguez, also known as A-Rod. It is being reported by an anonymous source that allegedly, if A-Rod was a software test automator, he would use the Selenium open source tool for functional test automation. Uh, that's the truth. Again, this just in. It's being reported that if A-Rod was an automator, he would use the Selenium automated test tool. The fact is that it came out and I'm here to, you know, sh share my story. Given the fact that Selenium is also the name of a periodic table mineral that is found in a steroids derivative, it's not difficult to see the appeal. Rodriguez, the third baseman that signed a 10-year, $275 million contract in December of 2007, is currently embroiled in a scandal in which he has admitted to using banned performance enhancing drugs, aka steroids, from 2001 to 2003. Well, I think I was curious. At which time he said he stopped of his own volition. Apparently, he would rather get his fix the legal way by using Selenium on the computer for automating tests. The new start for me. A-Rod allegedly denies that the steroids connection is the reason for deciding to use Selenium for test automation. He's also not impressed by the keyword interface and the IDE flavor or by the scripting power of the RC flavor of the open source tool. He is instead allegedly interested in it because his cousin downloaded it for him. My cousin would administer it to me, but neither of us knew how to use it properly. The maintainers of Selenium may not want to use this A-Rod news for marketing, however, because he and his cousin have been known to be, quote, immature and stupid. Uh, I was young. I was stupid. Stay tuned as we stay on top of this developing story for you. In other news related to open source tools, another gathering for tool enthusiasts is being planned. If you tuned into the previous edition of This Week in Automation, you'll recall that we reported on an event known as OSTATLI, conducted by Ms. Elizabeth Hendrickson on February the 5th. OSTATLI which stands for Open Source Test Automation Tools Lovin', was created for the purpose of allowing participants to express their, quote, mutual love of open source test automation tools. You can get an update on that gathering on Hendrickson's blog site, www.testobsessed.com. It seems as though that gathering has touched a nerve and inspired some other folks to conduct similar events. Al Snow, self-described tool developer and automator, has announced on his Twitter site that he will organize a similar event on March 7th called the Atlanta, Atlanta Open, Open Source, Source Test, Test Automation, Automation Shareathon, Shareathon, aka AOSTAS. But while the love-in took place in California, the Shareathon will take place in Atlanta, Georgia. The open source meeting craze seems contagious sure to get your shots or you might be the next one to conduct a meeting. Individuals are not the only ones into open source tool events. Big corporations such as Google are also interested in open source tools and Google is working to get young people involved in open source projects via its Google Summer of Code program aka GSOC. Okay, so today I want to convince all of you to apply to Google Summer of Code 2009. It's, it's been in existence four years. This is the fifth year that they're doing it. Since its inception in 2005, 
The program has brought together over 2,600 students and 2,500 mentors from nearly 100 countries worldwide, all for the love of code. Through GSOC, accepted student applicants are paired with a mentor or mentors from the participating projects, thus gaining exposure to real-world software development while greatly contributing to the open source community at the same time. If you are interested, Google will be accepting applications from open source mentoring organizations from Monday, March 9th through Friday, March 13th. The student application period begins Monday, March 23rd and ends Friday, April the 3rd. For more information, visit code.google.com slash soc or socghop.appspot.com. While open source projects are growing and expanding every day, the commercial world is not exactly being shut out. Hewlett Packard has recently released version 10 of its Quick Test Professional Functional Test Automation Tool. HP Quality Center Software is an industry leading enterprise quality platform. Quick Test Professional, or QTP, is a part of HP's Quality Center Tool Suite and with its keyword and scripting interfaces and user-friendly dialogues, it's still leading the IT industry in the Functional Automated Test Tool category. For more information, visit www.hp.com and search for Quick Test Professional. In conference news this week, it is all about security. Black Hat, a series of highly technical security conferences, found its way to the D.C. metropolitan area recently for what it calls Black Hat D.C. 2009. Okay, hey, I'm Jeff Moss at the Black Hat in D.C. and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Dan's talk. Held from February the 16th through the 19th at the Hyatt Regency Crystal City in Arlington, Virginia, the conference included four tracks over two days covering topics on reverse engineering, identity and privacy, along with attack and defense. To view presentations and interviews from this event, visit www.blackhat.com. Stay tuned for the next Black Hat event being held in Amsterdam from April 14th through the 17th. With that, we've come to the conclusion of this edition of This Week in Automation. Before closing, ATI would like to recommend that you check out our latest ATI video tutorial entitled Test Automation Return on Investment and ATI's Automation Body of Knowledge Handbook. For more news and automation information, visit the Automated Testing Institute online reference at www.automatedtestinginstitute.com. And you can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and MySpace. And if there's a bit of test automation news that you feel should be on This Week in Automation, registered users can visit our This Week in Automation forum and add it there. Until next time, ATI hopes that This Week in Automation is your best week yet.